Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some new EU4. Or for some EU4 with uh, a new expansion pack slash immersion pack slash DSC. We're playing on the 1.28 Spain patch. And the people have chosen. I actually, I, I wanted to see... There's, there's quite a few nations on here that um, I got suggested to play as. But actually, uh, Portugal was one of the most popular. So I think we're going to be playing as Portugal today. Let's actually take a quick look around also. I just want to see a couple of, a couple of differences here. Um, looks like Marrakesh was released, I believe, from Morocco. I believe this guy was as well, Tuffy Alt. And then Sus. So that's that's kind of interesting. Um, let's see. Med Madeira and the Azores still belong to Portugal. Let's see. There's been some changes, I believe here if i remember correctly also as well as here looks like there's a bunch more provinces and let's see anything else that i can immediately see i'm actually kind of curious about this i believe so each of these islands menorca majorca and ibiza were made their own islands if i remember correctly i think more provinces were added if i remember correctly i think up here i think um i'm actually not sure if there's been any changes to portugal itself and then um a lot of people wanted me to play as granada um, a lot of people were, call, were saying Grenada. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So I, I, it's an inside joke. A lot of people were saying plays Grenada, and I was like, "You mean Grenada?" <laughs> they're they're too. I, honestly, I've I got that mixed up before when I was a kid. I actually thought they were like the same thing. They really are not. So um, I thought that was funny. Let's see any other big changes that I can see just uh, just off the map, just at a glance. Um, nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, okay. So yeah, so I wanted to play as Portugal. Let's go take a look at our options here. We're going to play on hard. Uh, Lucky Nations Historical. Terra Cognita and Lobby. Yes. Use dynamic province names. Monthly tax income. All that good stuff. All right. And it's just going to be a normal game. Normal Iron Man game. We're not going to be doing any sort of you know, custom nations. Nothing like that. Let's see. We are a kingdom. We are Portugal. We have the Infante, uh, Infante Pedro on the throne. 421. There is Alfonso de Avi. We are Catholic and Portuguese. Portuguese ideas are trade efficiency, trade range. And we also get colonial range, national sailors modifier, goods produced modifier, global trade power. We get merchants. We get uh, yearly absolutism construction cost, global settler increase, and then trade efficiency. Okay. We have 131 development. We're allied to England. We have 12 provinces, and our fort level is 7. The total level of all forts in Portugal. Okay. So, sounds good. Let's um, let's do it. I'm excited for this. I'm not actually sure if I've ever played Portugal. Now that I think about it, um, yeah, have I ever played? I I think even offline, I don't actually think I've ever played as Portugal. Now that I, now that I really think about it, if I have to really think about it, I don't recall. I don't think so. So that's cool. So we're, we're literally playing as a country that we probably never played as before. So that's nice. Okay. <clears throat> With the Reconquista almost complete and the Iberian Peninsula almost entirely in Christian hands, the Kingdom of Portugal has turned its attention to the shores of Africa. With the conquest of Sueda, uh, Ceuta, and is that, is that, is that, is that typo? Paradox, is that typo? It's supposed to be Sueda, I believe, not, not Ceuta. And... Excuse me, in 1415, the founder of the Avi dynasty, Joao I, have already made the first inroads into the Moorish homeland. A policy that has granted his son, the still young Alfonso V, will continue to the best of his abilities. It is, however, through the work of Alfonso's uncle, Dom Enrique, Henry the Navigator, that Portugal will leave its mark upon the world. Under Enrique's decision, Portugal has made great leaps in shipbuilding and navigation, embarking on expeditions long past Cape Bojador in the south. Seeking gold, spices, and perhaps the legendary kingdom of Prester John, Portuguese sailors are about to undertake voyages all over the globe. They are reaching for new continents in the west, as well as India, Indonesia, and even China and Japan in the east. Indeed, Portuguese sailors may one day circumnavigate the entire globe. As of 1444, Alfonso is still a minor, with the daily rule of the kingdom entrusted to another uncle, Don Pedro, Duke of Coimbra. Uh, Don Pedro's regency has been fraught with the difficulties in controlling the strong Portuguese nobility at court, but the Duke has so far been able to ably, ably strengthen royal power at their expense. 
As Alfonso grows older, however, other forces at court will try to control him, hoping to use the young king for their own designs. While Castile has had a series of weak rulers and strong nobles, the Castilians can be a serious threat to the Portuguese. The royal house of Avi has therefore pursued a policy of intermarriage with the Castilian royal family, hoping to ensure a lasting friendship and possibly strengthen future Portuguese claims to the Castilian throne. Okay, cool. So let's take a quick look at our mission trees before we go through anything else. Um, so we have the English alliance. And that would allow us to intervene in Castile. Apparently we get... Um, so we can launch a flagship and... Yeah, the English alliance allows us to intervene in Castile. Portugal gains a permanent claim on the Iberian region. If we have the English alliance, we launch a flagship... And then we control Leon, Lower Andalusia, Galicia, and Asturias. Okay. Competitive advantage. We get us to when we have total navy size of at least 100% of force limit. We get a, we get a, a competitive advantage. We definitely want to launch a flagship. And then beyond Cape Bojador. Let's see. Our explorers believe that Africa extends but a short way further south, and soon we'll be able to swing around and find the kingdom of Prester John. Okay. Go. Cool. Go westward. Colonize West Africa. Intervene in Castile, the Lusitanian Empire. Let's see, government of Portugal changes to empire. Okay, so, I mean, we're, you know, we're friendly with Castile for now. Historical friend, but we're allied to rival, unfortunately. Um, who else is an enemy of Castile? I'm thinking maybe, okay, so we're rivaled to Aragon, actually, which is unfortunate. Um, we definitely want to rival Morocco. We're going to rival... Truthfully, we could probably attack Granada ourselves. France is an enemy. And um, we can't actually attack Lemson. We have to attack. I'm I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go for Granada. Actually, maybe we can swipe Granada from from the Castilians and attack for it ourselves. I like how that sounds. It's gonna roll marriage here. I guess we'll we'll keep the uh, the English alliance for now. I suppose I'm not entirely sure that I want to join his offensive wars though. Um. Let's see, how do the French and the Castilians feel towards each other? They're kind of friendly. We could ally the Castilians, at least for now. For the time being, I suppose that would be okay. Let's take a quick look at merchants. Transfer trade power from here. We transfer trade power from up here. Okay, that's probably the best that we can do. So what, what money are we making? We're actually not making really any money at this moment. Um, we have some force limit available. We have... Let's see, four cav and ten inventory. I think I'm going to get rid of two cav. And I'm going to go heavy on the inventory. Get it? Heavy inventory. Um, let's do... Let's see, so we have three... So we have ten transports, three heavies. That's actually pretty good. And then this is... Okay. So we actually have an explorer. Let's send him to go explore. I'm going to go to the West African Sea. And then you guys, the trade fleet will protect trade in Sevilla, I think. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so Explorer is going to go explore. He's going to go do his thing. We're going to ally with Castile. I don't know if we'll get a royal marriage, though, because um, we may actually want to attack the Castilians at some point. We also do want to launch a flagship. How are we able to do that? I'm kind of curious. Build a flagship. So it requires 100 ducats, 300 sailors, and then we get to customize it when we... You know, when we have our, um... oh, so these are vassals. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, cool. So, all right. So then I think the first target is going to be Granada. Castile should get permanent claims, I think. I want to say. England declared war on their new new France. Restoration of Union. Of course they did. Portugal's allied English rival Castile is unwilling to join our offensive wars. What I don't want is for him to call me into this shit. I mean, how strong is he? He's actually got a lot of troops, I'll admit. I don't know, if he calls me in, I, I don't think he has the favors for it. If he calls me in, we'll kick his ass, but I'm just saying. Um, okay, so what we want to do, let's, so let's take a look here. So... We do want to rush admin as soon as possible to get our um, exploration ideas. 
Exploration gets us um, the quest for the new world. We get colonists, colonial range, global southern increase, global tariffs. We get expel minorities cost, naval forcement modifier, can fabricate claims in overseas regions. And then expansion gets us two more, two more colonists, a merchant. Uh, fort maintenance on border with rivals, center of trade upgrade cost, global southern increase, diplomatic relations. So we got to get both of those. However, I do like going for tech four. Um, our error is not particularly good, so we're actually going to balance this out. 646 should be okay. If we can afford some better um, advisors, we will. Let's take a quick look here. I want to take a look at the estates. So... Okay, so this belongs to the wrong... Okay. Um, let's see. I want to just make sure... Let's take a look at these. Green belongs to nobility. Burgers... Burgers control this for some reason. Raganza belongs to nobility. When it really shouldn't. Mm. Okay, we're gonna have to mess. Yeah, in a year from now, we're gonna have to mess around with those states. For sure. In the meantime, let's fabricate claims on uh Granada. Let's see if we can destroy Granada, and then we'll see what we can do about um Morocco. We'll see what we can do about that. Like I said, I think we're going to hold off on a royal marriage with, um, oh, okay. So France, France is allied to, wow. Okay. Lorraine, Provence, and apparently Scotland. And he's guaranteeing the independence of Scotland. Okay. Let's explore, go to West African Sea. That's cool. There's Roman's invasion. Okay. So we're out of Castile, out of England. Uh, we'll see what happens here. I don't know what's what's going to go on with that. Um, yeah, we'll see if we can invade over here. Uh, cause, so Granada's allied to Mizab and Tunis, which doesn't bother me too much. I think we'll be, I think we'll be okay. And then we can get from uh, Sauda. Oh, I guess it is Sauda. Hmm. Uh, we can get from Sauda to Jabal Tariq. Is there a fort there? There is not. Malaga and then uh, Garnata have one, though. So let's rush for tech four, and then we'll probably probably jump for that. Okay. Cool. Explore West African Sea along the coast. Hopefully we can grab a colonist sometime fairly soon. That'd be nice to have one. Okay. Uh, let's see. So if we rush tech four, um, we actually would be fairly strong. See, in case we can't explore anymore for now. It's it's nice that we have a lot of transports. I have to admit, that's pretty nice. Um, let's ask us steal for military access. Just in case we ever have to invade over here, we can. Uh, let's improve relations with England, I believe he wants that. Because we get a mission here. The English Alliance. Yeah. We get, um... Apparently we get a permanent claim on the Galicia and Asturias regions. That's curious. Alright, whatever. I don't know if we'll ever attack Castile. I mean, we could. We could. If he's, a, if he's attacked by um, Aragon or something, I wouldn't mind aligning against him. You know, not the worst not the worst idea in the world. Uh, he may... he. I have a feeling he may break the alliance as soon as we take Granada. But I think definitely um, slowing him down in that sort of route. Because, I mean, this is this is a wealthy area. There's a lot of there's a lot of good stuff here. So I have a feeling doing that is um, maybe going to make him break his alliance with us. But I, I'd rather do that than anything else. Successor of Vladislaus the third. We need Jake Gallen, okay. So let's go to Beha. 
We should be able to take this guy out pretty easily. Um, let's see. Do we need more? We can get, like, two more light ships. Okay. We're gonna need some money, though. How strong is Granada? That's a good question. Uh, he's got 6,000 men. Okay, so we should be able to take him out pretty easily. Okay. Now, we do we do the Regency Council, because we have the Infante Pedro. Um, Alfonso V is our heir. So we have to wait about a year or so before we can get this. Okay. Could call it a yet, and then could just rush for some, some military points here. Um, because I, I can, I can like. We can, we can get up to a hundred influence, and then just demand the military support, and then just revoke some territory. Let's actually go ahead and do that. Because they actually, these guys control some stuff that, that they really should not have. Um, for example, this in Porto should not belong to the clergy. That should go to the burgers. Oh, fuck. Ah! Shit, I, mis I misclicked on that. <laughs> okay. Whoopsies. Um, this, yeah, Braganza to Austria should not belong to the nobility. Probably not. Let me see. Burgers. Even even the burgers shouldn't technically have this. But, I mean, it's got it's got a sailor's modifier, so I'll, I'll, I'm willing to let it go. Coimbra should not belong to nobility either. No, no, it's got green, so that's actually okay. How about this? This also shouldn't either. I mean, this is a lot of base tax. The 25% autonomy, we, we get hurt quite a bit here. So, I don't know. Damn it! This, this fucking thing. <laughs> Shit, I meant to give that to the burgers. Oh well. It happens. Let's see. We still have an aristocratic coup? Really? Holy shit. Alright. Well, in that case then, um... How many regiments do we get? Nine noble regiments? Is there any place that they really should not have at all? Yeah, this this place. They really probably shouldn't have that. This coin I'm willing to let go because it's green. Green gives me uh, land force. Let's actually go ahead and take away this so we can just fight the rebels here. There we go. Yeah. Sexy. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk from here to go to Malaga. That's what we want to do. Let's get the navy. Um... It's actually no. Let's let's not have the cogs in battle. I'm willing to have the lights though. It's gonna reduce our income, unfortunately. Let's see. This guy has lights and heavies. Okay. So this is inland sea, but the Straits of Gibraltar are not. So let's show here. Oh, okay. So we're okay. So we're building those from there. Okay. All right. So yeah. Um. Wow. Really, Castile? You're only ally to me? Fucking hell. I'm. I'm kind of curious, actually. If we break this alliance with Castile, would would maybe Aragon consider attacking him? That would be pretty useful for us. I have to admit. Um, the question is, am I willing to take that chance? Because we already got permanent claims on this shit anyway. Yeah, we can probably release the Kingdom of Asturias and Galicia. We need to be kind of light on admin points because we need to get to military tech 4. So I may actually fully annex Granada and then actually release him back as a vassal. I'm not sure yet, though. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that. But we we have to save some... Uh, Yeah, we really probably should save some points if we can. Um, let, For now, let's keep this Castilian alliance just in case Morocco gets any ideas. He's allied to Lemson, so Morocco and Lemson... I'm not concerned about them, but, I mean, we only have 18,000 men. So, you know, things can happen, and, and you just you got to be careful. Let's go and grant monopoly charters here. Yeah, get that trade efficiency. The, the burgers aren't that influential, but whatever. Um, yeah, so this is a lot of development there. So we'll probably fully annex them and then take it for ourselves, because I don't think I want to core all this. I don't know. Conquering conquering North Africa is easier now because the Berbers no longer get their um, hostile core creation costs. They don't have that anymore. So conquering up here is is not that difficult anymore. It, it's not as expensive an admin as it used to be. Let's see. Let's go and get rid of this ruler. And wow, this. Uh, okay, let's get rid of him. Uh, this guy doesn't have tech four, right? Okay. 
So let's let's wait to the first of the month here. Let's attack attack this guy. Oh, we have a truce with this guy. Until when? Holy shit, 1449. I didn't even know that. Wow. Okay. I was not even aware. Alright, then we're just gonna lower the maintenance then. Nah, we'll, we'll just keep we'll just keep the same, but yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and keep that maintenance up. Um So this is an interesting question. We have a fort here in Lisboa, which is a capital fort, and then we have one, the one in Evora. And then we also have one in Saura. I like keeping this one. I don't think I need this one. It's not even defensive terrain. And then this is our capital, so it's worth having that one anyway. Competitive advantage. Conquer Tangiers. Okay, we get a permanent claim on Garb in southern Morocco. I guess we're gonna definitely want to do that. Scotland will cede Ayrshire, East March, and West March to England. Okay, so this guy's got Lollard heretics over here. England is certain to lose this war. At least I'm pretty sure. Holy shit, really? Those guys took London? Wow. see um we should boost up plus one here we should do that let's go over here to porto let me find this let's go and save the support of the clergy here so we got to take this away from the clergy give it to the burgers okay so now we make some good money from there um really a guard should probably not belong in the ability either um, Bay has okay. This this place, and then this this place is okay. Um, we should we should really revoke as much as we can without excessively pissing off any of the um, without excessively pissing off anybody. So, yeah. So enforcement decreased there. I figured that was that was gonna happen. Makes him, oh wow, we actually got a pretty decent increase in, um, let's see. Issue an embargo here. Marvel to France. Um, I could send an insult here. Oh no, we don't have we don't have enough prestige actually. Hmm. Good point. We couldn't solve this guy. We're gonna get rid of this guy anyway. Ah, oh, really? You bastards! <laughs> I can get rid of my um, get rid of my stability there. When's this truce up? Uh, February fourteen forty nine. Let's come over here real fast. Let's get rid of this, um, this rebellion risk. Ah, damn it, really? So his truce expired quicker than mine then. Hmm. It's unfortunate. That's kind of curious. Okay, so he's, he's probably going to take all of it, unfortunately. Because his truce expired faster than ours did. Which is a little weird. Alright, let's, let's go and dissolve this alliance. I'm actually kind of curious to see... Let's see, deteriorating relation to the clergy? Motherfucker. I'm kind of curious to see... We're already going into debt. Good to know. Okay, let's set up to two. T 
Okay, so you have your vassals and then you just have Lemson. I wonder if we can actually take that on on our own. I'm not actually sure. Hmm. So we're about to hit tech four. Truth be told, with tech four, we can probably beat the Castilians. Let's see, the Duke of Hornbrook, King Alfonso, was only six years old when he became King of Portugal. For the first six years of his reign, the country had been ruled by the Duke of Coimbra. Uh, let's see, Portugal gets the Duke of Coimbra until the death of Alfonso V. Trade efficiency, national tax modifier. Let's see. Don Afonso had no reason for complaint, and by most accounts, this regency had been a just and efficient one. However, with the young king reaching majority, there are now many in the court who try to influence their monarch. Hmm. In a last attempt to mend relations, the Duke of Cornbread has arrived with a number of retainers to seek an audience with Don Alfonso. We get either stability. I'm actually going to probably take this. The trade efficiency and the national tax modifier. It's not bad. Why not? We make, we make some money from that. So I'm, I'm willing to do that. Okay, so we won't be able to get Granada, unfortunately. Okay, so England lost a lot of mainland possessions. Okay. I do wonder, let's actually improve relations with the Aragon. Let, I, I'm wondering if we can pounce on Castile. I don't know. Hard to say. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, I like the military power. It's nice to have. If I get up to like tech five, we might be able to take him out. I don't know. Let's see here. To love and be loved. Let the king have his heart's desire. Who's our heir? 262. Let's see, National Portugal against consort of the people. Bragança gets home with the consort. Till the end of the game. 20 prestige and legitimacy. That's pretty, that's a lot. Mm. I'm gonna have to, yeah, unfortunately, we're gonna have to probably say no to that one. Sorry, my king. Okay, so we definitely want to attack this guy. So Lemson in Morocco. We do have tech four. Morocco's got 15,000 plus his vassals. Are they disloyal? No. What about Lumsen? And then he's got 10,000. So on our own, we probably can't take that on. Maybe. I mean, depending on where we, depending on where we fight. We got a plague. I mean, we got to expand somehow. Could fabricate on Seuss. Okay. So on tech three. Okay, so we're sticking everything here. Uh, let's see. I'm kind of curious if, if these guys will go to war. So there's a renaissance. France is no longer a valid rival for me. Okay. Let's go big. We can either pick Aragon or Lumsden. I'm going to pick Lumsden. I'm going to pick Lumsden here. Let's see. If we get positive prestige... See, so you're, you're still in tech three, and then we did we did just get the Renaissance. So, I mean, obviously it's going to spring up in our country, but we could maybe even just do some development, like in our capital, Lisboa would be a good place to get it. Yeah. 
Let's do some development and then just just get it. Let's maybe get let's maybe get these. We're a little we're not doing too well on. See, this is diplo rep or trade efficiency. That's not bad. Hmm. I mean, I, I I don't know if if I could get Aragon. Truthfully, if I can get Aragon into an alliance with me, and we could go to war against Castile. You know, that's not bad. Me and Aragon could probably take on Castile on our own. At least if he had no allies, he he got Navara. You got Navara here. Hmm. Let's see, Lisboa is actually pretty cheap to develop. That's that's nice. Yeah, let's actually go ahead and... Um, oh, that's right. We can get a Holy Order. That's pretty nice. Let's see. Holy Orders. We can establish the Jesuits here. The Culture Conversion Cost. Establish the Dominicans or the Franciscans. Uh, none of those are particularly helpful at this present moment. And the Burgers. Are you guys loyal? You are. Um... To minister here, development cost minus 10%. Is there anything else we can do there? So loyalty is above 60. We get development cost trade efficiency, which we already have. So we can we can develop this boat right now at a pretty decent price. Um, question is, do I use up these these points here? I think we do. Well, no, yeah, actually, let's go ahead and let's go and take this. I think let's go and take that that four. Um, I think I'm actually gonna hire. I don't need this guy here, this this guy, but I'm actually going to hire him. I think I'm going to hire him just for that extra admin point a month. Granada's no longer valid rival. Castilla Aragon. If we were to rival Castile, we could probably get the Oranganese Alliance. Castile's now a great power. Okay, so he's taking that position. Uh, yeah, let's make a generous donation here. Yeah, you guys are whatever. Okay. I don't think I want to spend... I don't think I want to spend that military... Those military points yet. Let's see. In times of need... Uh, he's, yeah, let, now let's take the prestige. I don't, I don't think those guys are going to give me anything. So apparently England is not people controller. Um, let's go ahead and improve relations with the with the Pope man. Curious. Okay, so wow, dude, for real, this guy's still in Tech Three. That's crazy, motherfucker. He's still allied France. That is fucking bad news for us. Okay. So yeah, we need Aragon as a friend. Castile is now extremely dangerous because he's allied France. Um, yeah, I'll take that, dude. We're still making some money. Okay, so we definitely need to expand against the Berbers. I'm thinking if we take Tech 5, um, we can probably beat them. Because we get, we get better pips. Yeah, so if we take Tech 5, I think we're good to go. Sauda... Should go to the clergy, but I, I don't want to give it to anybody, to be honest. Yeah, no. Okay, so Morocco's allied uh, or is uh, annexed some of these guys here. So he's, he's annexing his vassals. 
So he's gonna get stronger. Let's see, he's got 19,000 men on his own now. Motherfucker. Yeah, we'll definitely need the pips or something to beat him. Um, I, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. Let's see, we're fighting Burgundy, Braven, Flanders, Nevers, Brunswick, and Verdon. Honestly, England, I, I don't really feel like defending you. <laughs> uh, I'm just to be perfectly honest right now, dude. What, what, what troops do you have? Are you kidding me? This guy's fighting in fucking Ireland, man. No, I don't think so. I'd rather ally the Castilians. All right, let's re-up this alliance. Let's see if he'll help me against the Moroccans. Yeah, if we if we uh, offer to give him stuff, he'd help me. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get tech five. Let's go for that tech five. I won't, I won't do a real marriage, but... So, we're going to need these guys to protect your trade in Sevilla. Okay. Prussian Confederation seeks Polish support. Let's actually go and rival Aragon back. Because he's our rival. And where do we lose this prestige from? That's weird. Oh, yeah, because we dishonored. Um, yeah, England's called arms. That's true. So let's get the sec five. And then I think we go after. I think we go after Morocco. Let's see. So he's got a fort here in Fez. That's a capital fort. And then he's got this guy. Okay. Let's see this guy's no error. And then um, Castile should join us. I just say I want all this. I don't know. Let's actually come back from Limson. Yeah, so how, how fast do we generate favors here? Every two years. So we can we can take a lot of this. And um, I'll probably take change years and sell for myself. Let's see, you've got claims here. I'll probably take that stuff for myself, and then I'll probably just release a vassal. Uh it could be any one of these guys. It could be I could release Fez, I could release, you know. It doesn't really matter to them too much about who I release. And then um, we should continue on development here in Lisboa. In Lisbon for the Renaissance. Yeah, I don't want to use uh, military points, though. I don't want to use those. So we'll just, we'll just walk over here. He's got more cav, but in this stage of the game, cav isn't, you know, it's okay. I'd, I'd prefer more inventory myself, so. Okay, I think I can get rid of this guy. Let's go for longbows, um, and then we have, let's go for Chevauche, actually. This guy's got four heavies, ten carricks. We don't want to use, where is, where is this guy, Diego Gomez? Should be with this fleet, technically. Where's a Castilian fleet? That's a, that's a good question. So we took a loan there, unfortunately. Alright. So we have tech we have tech five. 
So we can attack these guys, call in the Castilians. We're fighting Lemson, and then, you know, um, we've told them what we want. We've told everybody what we want. Okay, should go should go pretty well. I'm probably gonna release Fez. I think depending on how much we take here, I'll release Fez as a vassal. Should go pretty nicely, but okay, we'll see. In the meantime, guys, I'm gonna take a break here. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much. For watching, as always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Consider supporting the channel Patreon. I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks so much.